Hi, my name is Lawrence Mann and welcome to the basics tutorial for Sketchable. Today we're going to be looking at a few things, but we're going to start off with the journal based navigation. This is the journal gallery. It's a little bit different to some of our applications, but you are going to love it. First of all, you can create a journal, delete a journal, or select a journal. So if you take a quick look at some of the journals I've made in the past, here you go, here's my sketchable journal and my 2020 journal, my workload journal, even some of my review sketches are in a separate journal. But let's go ahead and hit the icon in the bottom left here and create a new journal. We'll go ahead and call this journal new. That's nice and simple. And we'll also pick a new cover here from the list. We'll go for this nice purple one at the bottom so we can quickly distinguish it from the other covers. We'll also pick a page size and typically the screen size here is the default size for a journal, but I'm gonna pick a different size. I'm gonna pick a nice big format size like A3 here. Now you can change the name and the cover later on, but the, the page size, once you've picked it, is set in stone. So go ahead, click OK, and you are all done with your new journal. To open a journal, simply click the cover and you will find yourself in the page selection stage. You can navigate through your journal by using the icons on the left and on the right, or by scrubbing through it, using touch if you have it, or simply by using your stylus. You can also click this icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen which will show you thumbnails for all of the pages in your journal. You can select whichever page you'd like to work on in your journal, or even select, hold and drag pages to rearrange them. And once you've selected the page that you'd like to work on, I like to be morphodical and start at the beginning, you can simply click on the page here and enter page editing mode. You can also do this by hitting the page edit icon right here. Once you're in editing mode, you'll find the main tools right here along the bottom. The eraser, the brush, the airbrush, the pencil, the marker, the pen, the inking nib, chalk, and the tortillion, otherwise known as the smudge tool. I'd suggest starting with either the pen tool or the brush tool. Click and hold to open the stroke preview. There are a few options for you, but I'd suggest starting with one of the preset brushes, uh, these little dot icons here. You can click through and even create your own over time as well. The top slider controls the size of your brush. On the left, you control the flow, and on the right, you control the stroke opacity. Another cool thing you can do is click and hold your stroke preview box and move it anywhere around your screen. You can see there are more brush options here as well, but we'll come back to those in another video. Now color pots, you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six along the bottom, and they already come with colors preloaded for you to use. However, you can simply click the color picker icon right here at the bottom next to the color pots and launch the color picker with its added options right here. You can even click and drag this around your entire screen as well to wherever you'd like it. And you can also make it larger or smaller as well if you need to. The hue of the color is on the outside of the color wheel here as you can see. Just clicking and dragging I can change the color quite easily. And the saturation and the brightness are on the inside of the triangle here. I'll go into color 
in a different video of course. And there are some other options here as well on the color wheel but again we'll address that in another video. For the most part they're pretty self-explanatory anyway. Now that you've set your color and picked the brush that you'd like you can get to drawing. And once you've finished drawing for the day, you can simply click the open book icon in the upper right hand corner here. And all you have to do is pinch to close the journal right here, or close the journal via the icon there. Nice and simple. You are now back at the journal gallery where we began. So, hope that all made sense. Any questions, leave it in the comments below or track me down. I have been your host, Lawrence Mann. Okay, chat to you later, folks. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Thank you.